Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to take one real-time scenario related to depreciation change. During the mid of the year, let's say management decided they are going to change a particular depreciation method, maybe life of the asset or uh, let's say depreciation calculation process. So how we are going to change it? If we are going to ch change this one, what will be the functional impact? So as already depreciation is posted for a particular period, so whether the depreciation change is allowed from the SAP point of view or not, and uh, in ECC what the method we are following and in S4 what we are going to follow. So this is one real time scenario that often confuses even experienced users and uh, if they need to change a particular depreciation, how to do that? Change is very easy, you can change the master data, but problem is when you are going to change whether the new method is going to impact in your asset accounting or not. And if sometimes management want that it should be impact in our retrospective effect, means whatever depreciation is already posted, it should reflect there also. So in that case, what are the challenges will be there? So let's understand this one step by step with a practical example inside our SAP system. And for demonstration purpose, I'm going to use S4 HANA system, but same concept it was there in ECC2 although in ECC we are following the different approach. So let's begin the concept. Uh, quickly let me explain the concept of uh, depreciation key. So in SAP asset accounting uh, the depreciation key controls how the depreciation is going to be calculated. Basically depreciation will be calculated with two tools. One is your depreciation method where we have different options are there maybe we can go for base method or we can go for multi-level method different methods are there so for depreciation calculation point of view and another one this depreciation method or this depreciation calculation method should be connected with your depreciation key so on the basis of this depreciation key this depreciation key you will find in your asset master on that basis system is going to calculate the depreciation now once we have posted the depreciation for a particular period as per the existing depreciation method or as per the depreciation key, so system is going to log the data. So that means if you are going to change any depreciation key in a particular period, so it is going to reflect from the next period on, onwards. For example, let's say right now we are in the month of May and let's say month May month depreciation is already calculated, so, right? So April depreciation calculated, May depreciation calculated. Now if you are going to change the depreciation method, it is going to reflect from the June. But challenge will be when management asks that as we have uh, changed our depreciation method, so we want the impact should, should be immediately from the beginning. That means whatever periods already posted or for whatever period depreciation is already posted, we want that impact also should be there so in that case what will be the challenge will be there or how we are going to manage it if you are the business user maybe for you it is very easy because ultimately you are just going to run the report but configuration point of view a detailed configuration is required or uh, uh, asset accounting or new asset accounting is configuration is required particularly the new depreciation engine configuration is uh, required then only go system is going to reflect or system is going to post the change so to understand this one I have captured some data here although I already completed this scenario in my live batch but I'm going to show you so that you will get the idea and while doing this particular one I captured the all the raw data so that uh, I can uh, explain here now you can see this particular table so this is my old depreciation key that is Z002 as per this depreciation method we are calculating the depreciation 10% written down value method and life of the asset is 10 years as for that April May depreciation already calculated and we are in the uh, I assume that towards end of the month of Ju uh, May, April and May month depreciation already calculated and posted and as per that the depreciation amount is coming 15.78 USD or INR whatever. This value already posted and uh, that amount you can see that this is the document already posted in S4 system. So as per the old method, so this is uh, a combined figure of April and May, this 15.78. This is your fourth period data means April month data and this is your May month data which is already posted. You can see the circle portion, it is 10.19. Uh, it's already posted and this 5.59 it's already posted and now here business want to change the depreciation method now they want to change from z002 to z003 as per that the new depreciation rate will be 15 percent and life of asset also reduced from 10 years to 8 years and the new as per the new calculation it should be 23.67 this new depreciation is supposed to be posted, already posted amount is 15.78, so the new amount should be posted as 7.89, again it is for April and May both. So this amount should be posted so that the new depreciation should be 23.67 as per the 
uh, new calculations. So for this we have to go to the asset master where we need to change our new depreciation and for this again depreciation key configuration should be there. So as I said the backend configuration has to be there before execution this one. So depreciation key configuration should be there under your chart of depreciation and this is let's say my asset master. Now right now you can see if we'll go to the depreciation area as already I completed this process. So here you can see depreciation key is updated as 0, Z0, Z003 and life of the asset is 8. But this is again already completed means the change completed. But initially when we are here so maybe assume that it is Z002 and life of the asset is 10. As for that or on the basis of our old data depreciation is calculated with this amount. So this is the data from the asset explorer the circle portion 5.59 10.19 which is already posted 10.19 for the month of May and 5.59 for the month of April so it's already posted and as you are going to change the new depreciation method because of that you can see two posted values are available that is for period 4 and period 5 so here uh, I am following Jan to December reporting so it is my fourth period and fifth period whatever amount is already posted which is there in the green color. So it's posted amount 5.59 USD and 10.19 plus plant depreciation is also showing 2.79 and 5.19. This plant depreciation is the new depreciation which need to be posted in the system. If it is EC system in that case we know that we have the smoothing and catch up method is there. So if you are going to apply the smoothing method so in that case you are going to equally distribute the amount and if it is catch up method then in one period you are going to adjust it. Whereas in this scenario in S4 HANA we want whatever the depreciation is already calculated for 4th and 5th April and May the new value of depreciation supposed to be posted from the retrospective way. If it is expected from June it is very easy. Next month onwards the new depreciation is going to be reflect in our books of account. But management want the already posted months means April and May the impact also should be there. Why I am saying April and May why not from January because this asset you can see it is acquired in April. So that's why from the beginning itself the new method should be applicable not from January because January to March asset was not there. But if let's say asset was there in January that from the beginning this method should be impacted. So our requirement is April and May month depreciation should be updated with the new value. So actually depreciation is not 5.59 so it should be 5.59 plus 2.79. Similarly May month depreciation is 10.19 plus 5.10. Uh, so that is why whatever amount is already posted that is already there in our books of account the new value is supposed to be posted in the system and that too in same month means the new value means 2.79 which is not at posted or this is the difference amount that should be reflect in the same month means in April. So in fourth period that should be reflect and 5.110 that is the difference that should be reflect in the uh, May only because if you are going to add these values let's say April and May month both month you are going to add in the uh, in the month of June as per the old ECC technique. In that case uh, maybe whole of the year if you will see that means okay the total new value depreciation is going to reflect in our books of account but April depreciation is not going to be there in your cost of production calculation correctly. May month depreciation is not also not there in the cost of production calculation correctly because depreciation we know is part of our cost of production calculation. So that is why the actual value should be reflected in the books of account. So this is my data from the asset explorer and uh, from where we capture these values from the fat table. So as we, we know that as for the new depreciation engine so any depreciation or anything planned depreciation should be there in the fat table. Now here you can see 5.59 and 10.19 already posted so that is why it is not available in our fat table. So only the difference amount or the planned depreciation as per the new calculation is showing here 2.79 and 5.10, 2.79 and 5.10, 5.59 circle portion already posted, 10.19 circle portion already posted. So only the pending amount is 2.79 and 5.10. So this amount sh should be there in the books of account. So once the transactions will be posted then you will find the difference amount is posted in our books of account. So I just captured this data from the SAP system. So here you can see the 2.79 for the fourth period check the posting date it is 30th April and 31st May. 
5.10 which supposed to be posted so this is my value which was not posted 2.79 and 5.10 so the tick option check these values 2.79 and 5.10 is posted in my books of accounts so 30th april 2.79 added and 5.10 is also added and the before that the amount was whatever amount earlier posted the amount earlier posted was 5.59 and 10.19 okay so 5.59 5.59 and 10.19 that is also that is my previous entry if you check the document number three all zeros three that is related to my previous transactions three all zeros two that is my pre previous entry and this three all zero three four times zero four that is the new entry for april three uh, four times zero five this is the new entry for may so the new amount is posted and after that if you check the asset explorer your asset explorer is updated with the correct depreciation for the both the month so the correct depreciation for the month of april and may new month new depreciation is 8.39 so if we we'll calculate the total already posted amount and the difference amount it should be 8.39 and 15.29 is your already posted amount this is our already posted amount means 5.59 plus uh, sorry 10 point may month depreciation 10.19 plus 510 that that is equivalent to our 15.29 so april updated with the new value and may also updated with new value 15.29 so if we we'll combine both the depreciation then it will come together whatever the my example i have taken in the beginning so it should be 23.67 so the difference amount is posted so for this uh, so answer to the question which was there initially whether depreciation change is possible obviously it is possible anytime we can change the depreciation key but uh, easy method is if you are going to apply from the next month onwards so that is there is no further settings nothing is required but when we want retrospective effect that means the new method should be applied on our existing period for which period the depreciation posting is completed then some additional configurations or new depreciation configuration is applicable in s4 hana it is bit easy whereas in ecc we need to configure the smoothing method so this is how you need to answer your questions definitely try this scenario in your practice it is going to help you in your uh, interview so we will see another scenario in our next video thank you